little moon. A little mocha, mocha moment. Hello you guys, what is up? And welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another vlog. This is my first time picking up the camera all week. I have, I don't know if you can tell from my voice, but I've been quite sick. Um, and just simply down for the count. We got back from Sydney on Sunday night, which was my last vlog. We got back late on Sunday night. I went to work on Monday and then on Tuesday, I started feeling really not well. I basically been in bed for the last like three days straight. And this is my first time getting up. <laughs> yeah, this is my first time getting up, taking a shower and just like feeling a little bit more human. <laughs> I've just been so sick, honestly. Hello you guys! It has been a full two weeks since I recorded that 30 second clip. I thought I had so much newfound energy. I was like, yes, I'm back. And then like not even a minute into filming, I was like, I am very unwell. I'm gonna go back to bed. And now it's been two weeks and I've missed you guys so much. I have been so unwell. I'm really bummed because I had so many videos planned and like so many things that I wanted to document. I love this time of year. And unfortunately that's just all kind of <laughs> gone down the drain but such is life there's no point dwelling on it it was obviously my body's way of being like hey you need to take a break so a break i have taken it's been actually really nice to just put down my camera be present with my family had an amazing christmas i hope you guys all did too I just got back from my parents house like last night so i still have stuff to put away we have all our christmas presents to put away maybe i'll give you guys a little what I got for Christmas haul. I've been obsessed with those over on TikTok. I feel like it's the next generation of what I got for Christmas videos. All the people being like, I'm not trying to brag in any way, shape or form. I'm like, oh. So yeah, maybe I'll show you guys some of the things I got for Christmas. I was very spoiled this year or every year really. I need to put that away, just like clean and organize ahead of the new year. I'm gonna be doing a whole separate video going over my goals, resetting my budget, just like all the finance stuff and then a full 2024 reset, goal setting, vision board, all of that fun stuff. So it'll be at least two resetty type videos, but I wanted to bring you guys along for the last couple of days of the year, more like vlog style. And we're gonna clean, we're gonna organize and just like get our lives together ahead of the new year, bit of a 2024 prep, I guess you could say. There's just like little things that I've been putting off that I feel like if I don't do them now, I'm not gonna do them at all. For instance, I need to organize our pantry. I've been talking about doing that for months. If I'm not gonna do it at the beginning of the new year, then like, when am I gonna do it? You know what I mean? So we're gonna tackle that. I also need to tackle my office and little things like our nightstands I wanna go through and organize. We have a drawer in our kitchen that I wanna go through. In our kitchen, I feel like everyone has a junk drawer in their kitchen with just like so much stuff. So I need to go through that. Hi, Mumu. Mabel had her first Christmas. Did you have a good first Christmas? Oh, she literally had the time of her life. All her favorite things, all her favorite people. She got so spoiled. She got to shred so much paper. It was a great time. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun couple of days. I'm excited to bring you guys along. I also have work in between the next couple of days. So I'm about to log on to work actually now and get stuck into work for the day. But this is life, just kind of balancing personal stuff with work as well. I'm working from home, which is kind of nice. It's just like a nice way to ease back into things after Christmas. So I'm gonna log on, get stuck into work, and then I'll probably talk to you guys on my break. Okay. Let me show you guys what I got for Christmas. I love seeing this kind of stuff. I'm like incredibly nosy. It's also so nostalgic. What I got for Christmas videos are my favorites. So I'm just gonna kind of grab stuff out of the bag and then start putting it away. But from Nick, I got a new pair of Birkenstocks. I have a black pair that Mabel has gotten a hold of. So they're starting to look a little worse for wear. And I wanted something that was a little bit more neutral because sometimes I feel like black can be a little bit harsh. So I love this color. He also got me one of my favorite perfumes, the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy. This literally is the best perfume ever. I don't care what anyone says. Look at the bottle, it's so extra, but this perfume smells so good. I can't get over it. I always come back to this one. I think because I associate it with a lot of good memories. I was wearing this a lot, like the first couple of years of our relationship. And so it just really takes me back to that time in my life. I just love it. So he got me that because I ran out of that. My parents got me <laughs> one of my favorite games, Cluedo. My dad has an old, like super old, almost vintage Cluedo set that we always play with. It's like 50 years old. So it was time for me to have my own Cluedo set and now I can play it all the time. They also know how much I love Bath and Body Works. So they got me, how beautiful is this little makeup bag. I love it. <laughs> my dad actually got these for me. My dad picked these out for me with my sister. They're bag ties in the shape of 
like dogs. And he also got us, I don't know if it's, it's not in here, but somewhere in there, he picked out this Christmas ornament set that you can paint and he chose it all himself, which I thought was so cute. You know those TikToks about how dads have no idea what <laughs> their children's presents are? That is my dad to a T. So for him to choose a little gift for me and my sister together, I just think it's really cute. But yeah, they also got me some stuff from Bath and Body Works. So we got the warm vanilla sugar body mist. Again, this is such a throwback scent. This takes me back to my 2015, 2016 Canada era. It's honestly the best. One of my favorite scents. And then the lotion and body wash. I'm so excited about this. Ah, it's like true Christmas. If 2012 Ella could see her right now, she'd be so happy. Like Bath and Body Works on Christmas? I love it. My sister got me this cocktail deck. It's like a deck of different recipes, the cocktail recipe cards, and you can put it up on this little wooden stand, which is super cool. I love making cocktails. I think it's so fun. And in the new year, we want to set up a bar cart. So this would be perfect for that. She also got me this Origins face mask set. I love their face masks. And then this beautiful necklace from Shaker & Co. It's handcrafted jewelry. I've never heard of it before. Um, Her and her boyfriend picked this out for me. And it is beautiful. Look how pretty that is. Might put it on today actually. Or well, maybe not because I'm cleaning, but so cute. It's like the gold link chain with a little pearl. Very me. So pretty. So thanks. And they also got me a glass house candle, the white Christmas one. When I tell you guys, I got so many <laughs> candles. I got one from my secret center, which this one is amazing. It's from Kayser Craft, the brown sugar and bergamot one. My friend Carly was my secret center at work. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I'm showing you. I wish you could smell it. Where is that technology? Like, come on, it's 2024 nearly. It smells so good. This one smells insane. I love glass house candles, especially their Christmas ones. I have one of their gingerbread ones. This one smells so good. And as you burn it, the little houses light up. It's so cute. From my in-laws, they got me this beautiful gin. Look at this bottle. This has to go in my bar cart. That is just like a masterpiece within itself giving Kylie Jenner and they got some ginger ale to go along with that and then this little Revlon makeup set a little pinky nail polish which I can always do with some nail polish and then a couple of lipsticks we've got wild thoughts and soft silver rose oh and a lip gloss comment rate subscribe oh my parents also got Nick and I this beautiful bowl and then last but not least from Nicholas he wanted to get me a Bath and Body Works candle as soon as he got home from the shops he was like I can't tell you what I got but I think I might have been scammed and I was like what do you mean he was like I went in for one of something and I came out with five <laughs> I was like what is it I was trying to think like what could it possibly be that you've gone in for one and you've walked away with five like do we need five we absolutely do. So five candles. He got me five candles. Apparently they were having a sale. I think it was like if you buy two candles, you get three free, which is kind of an insane deal. So I'm not mad about it. I love candles. Everyone knows that. Like I just, oh, I'm always burning one, especially after I clean. I just think it's like the perfect way to wrap up the clean when I'm working, when I'm taking a bath, like pretty much any occasion I've got a candle burning. So he got me spiced apple toddy. They're all like Christmassy scents. This one smells incredible. Peppermint sugar cookie sugar plum fairy and vanilla snowflake and sweater weather this one is so good it smells like a man like a good smelling man this one i think especially is one that i could burn like throughout the year on honestly all of these i don't really care i'm not really like a oh i can only burn a christmas candle at christmas time like i don't really care as long as it smells good i'll burn it i'm excited um, yeah, I think that's everything. Oh, actually, Nick got me these earrings. I don't think I've showed you guys these. I wore them on Christmas Day. They're from the brand Aya Lua. We saw them when we were at the Manly Markets in Sydney, and he went back and got them. They're like these gold-plated hoops. They're so beautiful. I'm always wearing gold hoops, but I have never invested in, like, a good quality pair, so these are, like, the next step up because they're gold plated so hopefully they'll last and won't irritate my ears too much yeah that is everything i think very very spoiled very lucky girl i feel like all of these gifts are so me had the best time as well definitely do not take that for granted i feel like the last couple of christmases have been very like maybe not so good even though I, I mean i always enjoy christmas but there have been elements that have been not so good i think this time of year can really bring up a lot of emotions whether it's family related or financial or maybe you're dealing with grief or whatever it might be um i know that this time of year can be really hard for a lot of people I feel you i've been there i promise you it gets better and i'm thinking of you all
my DMs are also always open if you ever need to talk to anyone. I know this time of year can be really, really, really hard. Um, so I'm sending all my love to anyone out there that might not have had a very good Christmas. I'm thinking of you all. And yeah, let's put this stuff away now. I don't know where I'm gonna put all of my 55 candles, but we'll find a place. It's time! It is time to tackle this pantry. I'm about to pop on a podcast and get going, but I thought I'd give you guys a little before so you can see what we're working with. Up there I have all of the organization stuff that I bought ages ago that I'm gonna use to organize everything. Here we have rice, sugar and flour, and then all of our baking stuff, and then just like some cups and things. Here is mostly pasta, tomato paste. It's like a real hodgepodge of stuff. We've got protein powder. This is like our breakfast stuff over here. And then down here we have our fruit bowl, all of our tin stuff, and then all of our oils and syrups. Back there is like potatoes and onions and stuff. None of this makes sense, by the way. It kind of did in the beginning and then everything got mixed up and here we are. Down here we have our air fry. I think we'll keep that there. Coffee, which has come up done. Disaster. And then we have all of our alcohol, which as I mentioned, I do want to get a bar cart at some point this year, so that will move eventually. But I mean, we have plenty of space, like almost too much space. It's just so unorganized. So I'm gonna pop on a podcast. I've been listening to Abby Aslan's In Bloom, her 2023 year in review, just like talking through her goals. I'm gonna give that a listen. He said on my life. out of the pantry apart from the top I just moved all the bakeware and like a big Tupperware container for cakes and stuff up there and then I'm just gonna leave this for now and do that at the end I just need to like tidy it up a little bit but that will be staying pretty much as is these three shelves I pulled everything out <laughs> who knew we had so much food in there I'm gonna go through and chuck out anything that might be expired or old and then get organizing but I've dusted everything down wiped down all of the shelves so it's nice and clean and we're gonna organize this bad boy I'm not sure where to start. <laughs> I feel like this is my problem anytime I procrastinate a task. I've gotten over the procrastination stage today, which was a Christmas miracle, but now I'm like paralyzed with the indecision. I don't know what part to do first. I have so many things, so many containers. I think I'm gonna start with these little spinny, they're like lazy Susan things that I got from Kmart. Most of the stuff is from Kmart or Target. I thought one would be perfect for all of our cooking oils and then the other one for our coffee syrups we started a bit of a collection and then I also have this shelf I think it's like a spice shelf maybe I don't know I took the sticker off or attempted to take the sticker off but it's just not working this is my least favorite part about anything from Kmart is these damn stickers but once stuff's on there you're not gonna be able to see yeah I think it's meant to be a spice shelf but I thought it'd be perfect for my tin stuff like tin tomatoes tuna peas so we're gonna test this out <laughs> Voila! 
are done. It is looking so much better. It's still not perfect. I think I need a couple more containers and we still need to go grocery shopping tonight. So this will probably change. Like we have no bananas. The fruit bowl is empty at the moment. And this will be filled with like rice packs and soups and stuff. But I think it looks so much better. So we have all of our bakeware up the top. We've got all of our chocolate and sweet treats, hot chocolate and tea, flour, sugar, brown sugar, and then all of our baking stuff. And down here we have all of our tinned and jarred stuff. Back there is pasta and rice. And risoni, we've got potatoes and onions at the front because we use those the most. Stock cubes, vegetable, chicken, beef. We'll put all of our rice packs and soups in here for lunches. And then we've got our Lazy Susan with all of our oils. And then down here on this shelf is mostly breakfast stuff. So we have bread, we'll have our fruit, all of our spreads. Gotta have the good old Vegemort. Back there is stuff like smoothie bowls. Got extra protein powders, chia seeds, all of that kind of stuff. We've got our protein powders that we use the most back there. And then on this Lazy Susan, we have all of our coffee syrups. I have some oats back there. I think I'll bring these forward when it's winter time because I have oats nearly every day during the winter. And then we have like wheat bix and stuff. I don't know if it's going to say like this. I feel like it's one thing to organize, but to actually live that out is another. So it might have to be tweaked slightly, but it's looking so much better. I'm obsessed. It's not like perfect, all of the containers match, but it's realistic. This is life, you know? Mismatched containers, try my best. Nothing screams 2024 prep like a good grocery haul. So I got a bunch of stuff just to carry us through to early next week. We usually go grocery shopping on a Monday night. So this will keep us going until next year. So I got some light sour cream. I'm making toddler telly. I'm doing fish tacos, chickpea curry, and... Caesar salad this week. I got some Persian style feta. I love this on avocado toast. It's so good. I got some of these Wicked Sister High Protein puddings, broccolini. I got a few of my favorite salted caramel protein yogurts, some orange juice, bacon, some chicken breast schnitzels for our Caesar salad, and some tempura battered fish from Fish Tacos, mixed berries, and then some milk for coffee. Blurn. We got two products of strawberries because they're literally $2.50 and they look so yum. We got a big old thing of bananas. These are like our go to fruit. I feel like everyone has a fruit. And ours are bananas. We just have them with everything yogurt and smoothies for desserts. Like, always have a banana. We got some iceberg lettuce. We to get most of our fruit from Woolies because Audi was out of everything. Um, some shredded coleslaw. This is kind of random. I've been seeing this online and I'm going to see if it helps with my iron levels. Spatone, it's liquid iron packets. Comes with 28 of them. It was like $30, I want to say, but if it helps with like my energy levels and just increasing my iron because I have quite low iron, then I'm going to give it a go. It's also gentle in the stomach. Sometimes I find iron tablets really mess with my tummy. I hate that feeling. So this is meant to be a lot more gentle in the tummy with some OJ. We'll give it a wheel. Can't hurt. We also got some mixed grain bread and some white I'm so sorry about the lighting right now. <laughs> I know it's bad, but I'm just working with what I've got and it's very gray and gloomy. It's about to storm. We got some avocados, three. I also um, picked up my Cancer Cancel Face Matte Finish SPF 50 sunscreen. I use that like nearly every single day under my makeup. It's the best and it was half price. So I got it while it was on sale. Got some avos, some Caesar salad dressing, soy milk for our smoothies. I've been loving these noodle bowls and trying different ones. These are from Audi. Had like the green Thai one. Um, I'm trying to think. Like a barbecue one maybe. The miso one. They have so many different noodle bowls that they've just come out with. I thought I'd give this one a go. It's a red curry coconut. I love anything coconut. -y. Got some Nutella or chalk hazelnut spread because we got it from Audi. I want to get back into meal prepping my breakfast and doing cheesecake wee -bix. So, got that for that. Some granola. This was on sale. 
I realize we don't have a lot of condiments. We're not like a big condiment family. My parents are, and it was so nice around Christmas time. We were there for like three days. They just had so many condiments with like leftovers. I was like, we need it. We need more con condiments. This was on sale. It's the Beerenberg, um, tomato chutney. So random, but that's my 2024 goal. More condiments. Also some coconut milk for the chickpea curry. Some body wash. Woo! Oh my goodness. Some spicy pumpkin soup. So it's real soup weather outside. And some apples. And that is a grocery haul. I'm going to put all of this stuff away with my beautifully organized pantry now. And then start cooking dinner because I'm pretty hungry. I've been living off Christmas leftovers for the last few days. And we just ran out of um, stuff. So I didn't really have much of a lunch. And we haven't been grocery shopping. So all stocked up for the next like five days. And then we'll go grocery shopping again on Tuesday. Another day, another task. I'm about to tackle this drawer that I showed you guys. This basically houses all of our user manuals for appliances, warranty stuff. It's basically just a junk drawer. We're gonna keep it for that purpose, I think, but just organize it a little bit nicer. And then we have the laundry, which I wanna sort through. I have some stuff to put away. Organize Mabel's stuff, refill her food container. I got these little like clear command hooks, like little mini ones. I actually, I think I got these. I got mini ones and I also got big ones. I think I'm gonna put these up on, not this rogue sock, just chilling. I think it's an on sock. Let's take that down. Um, 2024 is the year of matching socks. Yeah, I got these command hooks that I thought I would put up here so I can hang up Mabel's harness and her lead just to clear up this space. Cause we kind of just chuck it on there when we come home. I'm gonna get to that. I also have some laundry to do. And we have a Miss Mimu. You good girl. Hi, gorgeous. I swear she is still recovering from Christmas. She was non-stop from Christmas Eve through to Boxing Day when we finally got home. She's just been go, go, go. Just so much going on. So all her favorite people, so much food, so many good smells. She was absolutely spoiled. So much wrapping paper to shred. That was like probably the highlight. She had the best first Christmas ever. It was the best. My first Christmas as a mother. Speaking of Christmas, my Christmas decor, my Christmas tree in particular is suddenly really annoying me. <laughs> Christmas is finished and suddenly I want it gone. Like this is irritating me, which I feel bad about. I do, but I'm really in like the new year, new me mindset. And I feel like I just need to get rid of this, but it's so nice and cozy at nighttime, especially like just putting on a Christmas tree lights, but it's just bothering me. The thing is, I know as soon as it's gone, I'll miss it. But right now it's just really bothering me. So maybe we'll take this down this weekend. I just feel like this whole corner is going to look so empty and weird. Oh, I don't think I showed you guys. We well, would have seen if you follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I got a shark vacuum cleaner. I was lucky enough to work with them on my Instagram. This thing, you guys, is the best. If you're in the market, I'm not just saying that this video is not sponsored, but if you're in the market for a new vacuum cleaner, I've been using another well-known brand for a long time now, and it just has not been working the same recently. My dad's been having the same problems. And so when they reached out asking to work with me, I was like, perfect, let's give it a go. This is the Auto Empty System one. The Detect Pro Auto Empty System, I think is the full name. Not only does it look beautiful, it's also super lightweight, but it automatically, empties and goes into this little bin. The bin will hold stuff up to, I think, 30 days. It's so cool. I've got all the, like the little attachments. They've been working so well for the car and the couch. And it is just so lightweight. Even my dad said like, this is super lightweight. Should we give it a whirl? I'll show you guys. Peak adulthood. <laughs> Watch this. This is the best part. Wait for it. It 
automatically empties. So cool. Sorry, I just had to share that with you all. As I said, not sponsored. I did work with them on my Instagram, but it's so cool. Like, okay. It also, this really does sound like an ad, but one of my favorite features is it will change the power, or like the strength of the suction, depending on how much dirt there is. Especially if it's dirt that you can't really see. Like there are some areas of the house and I'm like, oh, this doesn't look too bad. And then it suddenly starts sucking up a ton of stuff. Anyway, super cool. Just wanted to share that with you all. I'm obsessed with my new vacuum cleaner. You know when I um, refill the dog food, I feel like the twins from Cheap oh, Mother yeah. Does It. <laughs> Come on, Gunther. What's up, boy? <laughs> Rather than here, you'll see it as we walk in. Yeah. It'll just look a bit tidier. Yeah. That looks so cute. We need to get like a filing system for all our warranty stuff yeah, in the house. I'm feeling so accomplished right now. Name a better feeling than finally organizing something that you've just been putting off for far too long. We've got the junk drawer organized. The amount of times I've seen that drawer and just procrastinated touching it. I got the pantry organized. I've literally been talking about doing that pretty much since we moved into this house like seven months ago. The laundry is looking nice and organized. I'm just feeling so good. There's still some things that I want to do but I'm gonna wrap up this video here, I think. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day and it's not possible for me to reset, refresh, organize my entire life in one singular day or even across like multiple days. It's gonna take a sec. So I'm just going easy on myself. I've done a lot over the last couple days in between work. I'm really excited for all the content to come. As I said at the beginning of this video, I'm gonna have a whole financial reset. We're gonna set up our new budget for 2024. And then I'll also have a big 2024 reset goal setting session as well. We're gonna make a new vision board for 2024, which I have made a vision board every single year for the last few years. The last couple of years, I've been super intentional about it. And I've had it as my laptop and phone background and nearly every single thing has come to fruition, which is crazy. So I am so excited to set some new goals for 2024 and make a new vision board. I can't wait for all the content to come, but I'm gonna end off this video here. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. I've missed you so incredibly much. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. And I'll see you very, very soon for another video. Bye guys. Do just what you want.